Hi, this is Tammy Campbell with Impact Realty, brokered by Keller Williams Realty West. And today I would like to talk about negotiating a buyer's inspection with a seller. Okay, we all know that it's been a seller's market lately and many buyers are giving up all their options to do inspections. However, I never recommend that for a new buyer. It's a great experience to go through the inspection process, see exactly what an inspector will uncover because there's many things that you cannot tell when you walk through a house. You're focusing on bedrooms and bathrooms and kitchen size. Many buyers do not get up on roofs and that's why we get an inspector involved. So when we are going through the inspection process, that inspector is going to look at plumbing systems, electrical systems, and major mechanics, like your HVAC, your air conditioner, water heater, and then all the electric components of the house. And there he's going to discover things that we would have never known when we do our walkthrough and we choose to write a contract on a home. When you get that inspection report back, it's really important to keep in mind that the main things that we need to address are things that are broken, so function, and then things that are unsafe because nobody wants to move in a home with the broken things or things that are dangerous. However, if there are things that are old, perhaps a water heater, the inspector tells us that water heater is at the end of its useful life. Well, a manufacturer says that a water heater lasts 18 years. Of course they do, because they'd like you to buy a new one. However, if that seller is taking a nice hot shower every single day, he's not going to replace it. So it's good to keep in mind exactly what type of items a seller would be willing to repair or perhaps provide a credit for. So here's how we're gonna do this. We do our inspection typically over a seven to 10 day period. We get our report and we have three options. We can say, hey, there's nothing wrong with this house. We're gonna move on through the process and go to the next step in the contract. Or, oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. I just can't do it. I can't buy this house. I can't live in this house. Okay, and that's perfectly fine. Those things can happen. And in that case, you'll get your earnest money back, move on to another house. However, what usually happens is you take the opportunity to negotiate with the seller, address those items that are not safe or absolutely broken and ask them, to repair them and hopefully they're going to use licensed contractors, people who do those things for a living. You want an electrician to fix your electric parts or the plumber to fix plumbing problems. Then you want receipts, you want all those kind of things to just really determine the work was done correctly. Now, sellers who have packed up their things and moved on, they might say, I just don't have time to do this. This is just too much work. Will you take $2,500 towards these problems? Now that is a good solution and then you get to be in charge of those repairs. However, it's important to check with your lender to ensure the type of loan that you're getting allows for that credit to come through. And if that does work out, that could be a great solution because then you're in charge of the repairs once you get inside the home. So it's important to keep in mind that inspection can be a make or break it, but it's for your information and to be reasonable when it comes to requesting repairs or credits. Function and safety are always the two main things that are the most important, and that is a reasonable approach with sellers. Tammy Campbell with Impact Realty Group, brokered by Keller Williams Realty West. If I can help you buy a home and negotiate your inspection, please give me a call. 314-614-3916. Thank you for watching today.